could be tough for some commuters in Seattle this morning. Major road work begins today on Royal Brougham Way, and that's going to impact drivers in the area. And those closures are going to last for more than a week as crews take care of sinking tracks that are at risk of flooding. Let's get down to our Dan Griffin live in that area. And Dan, should we expect, what should we be expecting out of these closures? Well, it certainly might put a cramp if you're trying to get to some of these games. You know, the Mariners uh, games have been busy with tens of thousands of fans. Seahawks have a preseason game coming up. And, you know, Royal Brom obviously goes through this area here. So you can see some of the road closure they've got here this morning. Sound Transit basically saying that Royal Brom will be closed to vehicles starting today through August 20th. The crossing will stay open for people walking and riding bikes. But officials say the one-line service will be reduced starting August 12th through the 20th, too. So here's how they have it working out. August 12th and 13th, one line trains will run between Northgate to Cap Hill and between Soto to Angle Lake. Stops in between will be closed and serviced by shuttle buses. August 14th through the 16th, trains will stop at Pioneer Square Station where you'll need to transfer to another train on the opposite platform and you should expect delays. And August 17th through the 20th, the running tracks will flip. All riders on trains from Northgate and Angle Lake will need to make a transfer to another train at Pioneer Station on the opposite platform. This will also likely mean delays. So plan for as many as 30 additional minutes. And again, crews say this is all due to current tracks settling in the area, meaning potential flooding issues. So trains can only go about five miles per hour along that stretch just for safety and whatnot on that. But again, this roadblock up here as they get ready to do this work, we'll keep you updated on the air and online at fox13seattle.com. But for now, reporting live, Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News. All right, Dan, thanks for that update.